In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut out a worktop for your hob. So we've already marked out our cutout, and now I'm going to show you how we mark this up so we can cut our worktop to accommodate our electric hob. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that the hob is centralised within the base unit that it's going to fit in. So the way I like to do this is I like to square a line up. So I've got this line of the cabinet replicated on the worktop, and I've also got exactly the same the other side. Now to do that, I use one of these, which is called a sight square. These are probably the most underrated tools when fitting a kitchen, and I'd highly recommend getting one if you've got a kitchen to fit yourself. They're brilliant at making sure all your cuts are square. You want to line the edge of your square up to the edge of the cabinet, and then draw a line, and then you want to do the exact same on the other side, giving you two lines on the edge of your worktop. You can square these lines back. Once you've got these two marks on your worktop, you know that you can get your hob central with the unit below. You need to check your spec sheet where it will always tell you what size the cutout for your hob needs to be. A very common cutout is 560 wide by 490 deep. And you'll actually find that 560 wide is the exact internal dimensions of the cupboard. If we check our two lines, we've got 560 there. So that means we can square these lines off the straight edge of our worktop all the way back. Line there, line there. And then we've quickly got the width of our hob cutout. The next thing we need to do is work out the depth. So our hob depth is 490. Now we need to make our 490 cutout. So we've got 490 here and it's in the center of our worktop. In order to do that, take our tape measure, butt it up to the back wall and put a mark on your worktop at 490, which is the exact opening size we want to cut out. Then take your tape measure the other way and measure what's left. We've got 115. And we divide that measurement by two to give us an equal bit of worktop on either side of our hob cutout. I always like to do a double check. I check that I've got 490 from this line to this back line and put a mark there. And then I do the same again. Check I've got 490, so my opening is definitely 490. And then to do a third and final check, I like to put my square on, connect my two lines. Then I know that I've cut my hob to 490 and I know everything's nice and square. Quickly throw your tape measure over to do a final check. You want 560 wide, 560 wide, and we know that 560 is central to our cabinet. And then we want 490 deep, and we know that that 490 is central from our wall to the front edge of our worktop. So I hope that's showing you how to successfully mark out to cut out a hob in a worktop. 